Despite the country's rapidly shrinking economy, the country's baseball league is determined to carry on. It's already kicked off its season despite the financial pinch. CCTV's Stephen Gibbs has more on the economy's impact on the sport and its fans. The cheapest ticket had gone up 330 percent from last year. It's too high. The prices are incredible. It's very difficult with the minimum salary we have here. The prices, the whole economic situation is really tough. It's difficult for everyone. This has really hit us in the wallet. It was the same story inside the stadium. Venezuela's predatory inflation could be felt everywhere. On display here, the new season's kit. The price tag of this shirt is around 120 US dollars at the legal exchange rate. That's beyond the reach of almost everyone. I really liked the shirt, but then I saw the price. I thought, no way, that's incredible. It's almost three days minimum salary in Venezuela. One compensation for the long-suffering fans is that at least the matches do still go on here. Sometimes here in Venezuela, it does seem like the government is juggling what scarce resources it has to try and keep the whole show on the road. But to date, it has always made sure that there is some money for baseball. So despite currency controls, baseball had some access to the dollars that they lent that area pay their best players. But there are other challenges. Caracas is currently one of the most violent cities in the world, and that's a disincentive for players and fans to attend games. Remember, this is a country where baseball is almost a religion. Take one look at the stadium, and you can see that all is not well. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Caracas.